Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can disable directory listing on your WordPress website. Basically, we will disable this. So it gives a 403 error. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. If you are using WordPress, please check this on your website. Open the browser and go to your domain name slash wp-includes slash css. If you see all these files and the directory list, this means the directory listing is enabled on your website. Exposing all this information could be a security risk. If you Google directory listing risks, you can find more information. Anyway, now to disable this, we will have to write a simple code on the .ht access file. To access the ht access file, you can either use the cPanel, FTP, or a WordPress plugin. Let's first use the cPanel. Let me quickly log in to the cPanel. Enter the credentials. So we are in the cPanel. Go to File Manager and locate your website files. So here are all our website files. Here, the HT access file is hidden. To see the hidden files, go to Settings. Click on Show Hidden Files and Save. Now here is the HT access file. Right click and click on Edit. Edit again. Now we need to write a simple code here. Type options space dash indexes. That's about it. And save changes. Let me refresh this page. So it now displays 403 forbidden. So this code will disable directory listing. Now for those who do not have access to the cPanel, we can also do it using the WordPress dashboard. So first let me delete this and save the changes. I will refresh this so it is enabled. Let me close this all and let me log in to the WordPress dashboard wp-admin. Enter the credentials. Go to plugins and add new and search for file manager. This is the plugin. Install it and activate the plugin. So the plugin has been activated. Click on the WP File Manager here. And here you have all your website files. Find HT Access here. Right click and click on Code Editor. And here you can simply write options dash indexes. However, please be careful while making the changes to HT access by using this plugin. Because if there are any mistakes here, your website will not be accessible and you will either have to use FTP or the cPanel to revert the changes. Anyway, let me save this. It is done. Now if I refresh this, it will show forbidden. So this is how you can disable directory listing on your website. Thank you very much.